Hello, my name is Steve Dom, and I'm a sales engineer with Cavallo. This is a quick video to show an overview of SalesPad's Inventory Manager module. Inventory Manager is an optional module for SalesPad that was designed specifically for distributors and manufacturers that handle large amounts of inventory. The inventory typically gets moved through several different physical locations, as well as multiple processes in order to fulfill demand for their product. Tracking where each order is in the fulfillment process and controlling inventory quickly becomes a very complex. For some companies, running out of inventory can be catastrophic and keeping inventory on hand for too long is costly for almost everybody. There are two basic components to Inventory Manager, the PC client, which I'm showing on my screen now, and there is also a mobile client available too. On the PC screens, there's a little bit different view of the inventory than what you may be accustomed to in the standard sales pad inventory lookup. I can still do inventory lookups by just about any criteria I would like. I can include parts of item IDs or descriptions, narrow it down to warehouses, uh, things of this nature. But once I have my criteria, I can enter my search. I'll get a list of the items that meet my search criteria. And up above is some header information here. So here are all my items and I can see what I've got on hand, what's available, what's been allocated, what's allocatable. If I had any uh, of these on order, they would show up here as well. And then down below, I can get to some more detail about um, fulfillment of orders, um, if there were any lot or serial tract uh, items that would be available here, as well as uh, allocation and the inventory bins where these are located. This enables me to make informed business decisions based on the real-time data, much faster than sifting through multiple database tables and or GP screens. Inventory Manager extends the reach of Dynamics GP from the office desktop to the shop floor, so that data can be collected closer to the point of activity. There are a couple of recommendations for best value and performance. The first thing is more of a requirement, but there are a lot of options. You will want mobile computing devices so that you can capture the data at the point of activity. The devices I have here are from Zebra, and they are ruggedized. They have integrated barcode scanners, and they usually run between two and $3,000. Um, if that's too expensive, you can also just use consumer grade phones and uh, you can also get sleds that have barcode readers for those phones. I highly recommend an integrated barcode reader, but it's not a necessity. The other thing you'll want to consider is a setting within GP. It is completely optional, but I like using multi-bin. What multi-bin does is it enables inventory to be placed into inventory bins that are throughout the warehouse. For example, if I am a distributor that handles expiration date sensitive items or I'm trying to do true first in, first out stock rotation, it's a huge time savings for an order picker to be able to look on a handheld and tell where the first to expire is, or for a receiving clerk to look and see where's the best place to go put this away. Inventory Manager also includes a picking audit. This is a log of all picking transactions with a date stamp, who did it, the item number, the sales document number associated, the bin number from where each item was picked, along with any serial and lot information available. All of this information is reportable through the sales pad inventory manager and gives you a deeper level of visibility into your picking operations. In the next video, I'll dive deeper into the mobile aspects discussed today. In the meantime, if you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.